So the Canadians in their red shorts and red shirts will play from left to right in this first 45 minutes. Well, Mexican referee just checking with uh, two Canadian officials who are keeping the line this afternoon to check all is well. We're set to start here then. Canada face Brazil, Germany, Spain and Holland in the next eight days. It'll be a real test for them. And these matches, ideal preparation for their opponents in the build-up to the World Cup finals, which are now under two weeks away. So away we go then. Brazil, favourites to win the World Cup finals. And this is a nice exercise for them, one would imagine. But it's a game that uh, they'll be taking fairly seriously, certainly by the starting lineup they've announced uh, they're doing so. First touch for Bebeto. There's uh, 11 Romario. So Roberto and Romario pairing up together there. Remember on the opposite sides in the run up to the Spanish Championship, which produced such a dramatic finish. Carlos Alberto Pereira knows that uh, his side's fortunes may well hinge on whether Romario can produce on the big occasion. Never really got a look in in the Champions Cup final when playing for Barcelona against Milan, but uh, has the explosive talent, uh, a real match winner on his day. And Bebeto, of course, uh, still bitterly disappointed to miss out on the Spanish Championship with Deportivo. And in fact, uh, declined to take a penalty in the last minute, which would have won them the championship. Instead, uh, Dukic took it and missed it, and the championship went to Barcelona. So just how important that may prove to be, we may see in the World Cup finals themselves if uh, any of the Brazil games happen to go to penalties. Here's Dunga. And he's looking to get a return ball again. 11 is uh, Mobilo. 15 for Canada is... Dasovic, one of the players who play their football here in uh, Canada. There are several who play abroad in Europe and uh, Forrest and Yallop, as we said, for Ipswich. Mark Watson for Watford. Four is Ricardo Gomez, who, of course, has uh, mixed memories of the 1990 World Cup. Sent off in the game against Argentina, against Turin. It was in good form in the qualifiers, scoring three of his four international goals. He's played 60 times in total for Brazil. We're playing a 4-4-2 formation here. Roberto and Romario being the two strikers. <laughs> 16 there is Carlos... Uh, Corazin, and it's a free kick to Canada. Well, corner given, and uh, the artist swings it in, and only half cleared. The Canadians will be encouraged by this start. The flag went up. Well, there's Limiatis. Nine for Brazil is Zeno. That was right. This is Leonardo, number six. Four is Ricardo. No, it's only Ricardo Gomez playing tonight. No, Ricardo Rochup, replaced, as I said, by Alda Ia, who plays his football in Italy with Roma. Just managed to play in the last uh, 12 matches of the season. 
Well, so much is expected of Brazil in the World Cup finals, and so many talented players missed out on qualification. Valdo, Palinha, Careca, and the Moser, who's uh, the last to pull out. Here is Aldair. It'd be interesting to see with the Azani recurrent that knee ligament injury that uh, he picked up uh, in the 1993 Italian Cup final over Roma against uh, Torino. Canada who missed out on qualifying to the World Cup finals when they lost to Mexico. And uh, there are many who are already, already writing off Mexico, but the group that they're involved in with Ireland, Norway and Italy I think is very tight and could be one of those groups that only brings two qualifiers through to the second phase. There's uh, Nick Dazovic. He's uh, in Montreal. Still no goals here in the Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton. No real chance yet as... Uh, Leonardo, who's come in for Branco in this match, plays uh, now for Sao Paulo, formerly in Europe with Valencia. Greg Forrest, who, uh, as I said, plays for Ipswich, who retain their place in England's Premier League on the last Saturday but only just because in fact out of their hands and uh, a late goal by Chelsea against Sheffield United sent down the Yorkshire club but uh, kept Ipswich in the Premier League for another season Corazine on the chase there but uh, it was always a lost cause So the Canadian World Cup hopes were ended by Mexico. It was uh, a long road for qualification for them. They began in a group with Jamaica, El Salvador and Bermuda. And came through that. Then also had to face El Salvador again along with Honduras. But uh, home and away defeats by Mexico were decisive. Jorginho plays his football in Germany with Bayern Munich, the German champions. So we have... Uh, Players in Brazil from the Spanish champions, the German champions, the Brazilian champions. No flag here. And Tafarel, who's uh, reported to be on his way back to Parma at the beginning of next season, still feels he's got a lot to offer at 28. Let loose by Parma to go to Reggiana, but uh, could well be on his way back to the runners-up in this year's... Uh, Cup winners, Cup Palmer. So no goals uh, so far, but uh, the Canadians have uh, tried hard and uh, threatening to uh, give Brazil a few problems. This is uh, Dasovic. Sixteen is Corazin. And uh, free kick given to Brazil. So experienced uh, Tafarel, 28 years of age now today winning his uh, 76th cap for Brazil which is uh, a tremendous achievement and now the uh, yellow shirts come forward in uh, numbers but uh, Jorginho loses out there Leonardo, this is Romario. 
Ahora que ahora que ahora. Right in front of the referee. It's a free kick to Brazil. Leonardo, Romario. And they want to try shots from long range. It's been the tradition of uh, Brazilian players down the years. This time, Mario Silva, who also plays for Deportivo, trying his luck. Ten minutes played in the Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton. It's Canada nil, Brazil nil in this uh, friendly match in the build-up to the World Cup finals for Brazil. Series of uh, matches being arranged by the Canadian Football Authority and greatly welcomed by the qualifiers who've taken advantage of them. Three European opponents also on the agenda. Germany, Spain and Holland will play this Canadian outfit in the later part of this week. Now there's a break on here and uh, the flag stays down. And Romario there had a great opportunity. And in the end... Play was halted, but it was very late. Romario here found himself clear. Now, that's the rule that's uh, going to be brought in in the World Cup finals. The interpretation rule is whether a player was interfering with play or not. You'll find that uh, there's going to be a lot of controversial moments in the finals because uh, under the new rule, that was not offside. And the artist there, trying his luck from 30 yards to beat Taffarel. Here's Ricardo. Jorginho. And uh, the Beto was... Uh, in the defensive role there. This is uh, number three, Ian Carter. There's the uh, Brazilian bench. In uh, final preparations for the World Cup finals. Remember, they're in Group B, along with uh, Cameroon and Sweden. And they begin their campaign in clash against Russia on the 20th of June, rather like they did in uh, the finals in 1982 in Spain. How much takes place in San Francisco. No goals in this friendly though, with uh, Canada having a lively start, and that was an important interception as uh, Zeno comes back to complete the job. But uh, Ricardo there making a very important challenge. Leonardo with the throw for Brazil. It's nil-nil here in Edmonton. Babeto. And the challenge was a little late on uh, Zeno. Who will celebrate his 27th birthday on the opening day of the World Cup finals. But... Uh, this was the moment, the chance, it was blocked down by uh, Ricardo, and it was an important block. Save Taffarel being forced to have a make a save. Bebeto, and he was looking for Romario, but uh, those two who between them have 49 goals are likely to be the linchpin in the Brazilian attack in uh, the States. And one would imagine that uh, a lot of the flair that uh, surely Brazil will produce will end up with uh, the finishing product coming to Ida Babeto or Mario. 
who played a 128 times for their country between them. So far, no real chance here in this friendly. Well, Watson is the throw in, and Brazil gained 15, 20 yards. The better again. And he's played a, a much more offensive role than what he might have done, and just letting Romario do more of the running out of here. That was a, a very important second touch. And uh, back from Watson, forcing Forrest to clear. Brazil are getting caught out once or twice. We've played a quarter of an hour here. And still no real major opportunity for Ricardo. We're happy to uh, pass it back to Tafarel. There's no challenge coming in from the Canadians, so Tafarel under no pressure here. Long searching clearance, and uh, just out of play for a Brazil throw. Zeno will leave it to Leonardo. Maria Silva. There's such silky fluid the way they play it. Right involved again. Ricardo. Junga calling for it. It's the one touch stuff that uh, made them so attractive to watch over the years. The passing movements. You can hardly believe it's 1970 since they last won the World Cup. So many people's favourites, even outside of their own country, where football is like a religion. Ricardo, long clearance. Looks for Bebeto. He still might get on the end of it. Scrappy period of play then, but uh, at the moment, the Canadians holding their own. You know, the golfing class is uh, fairly obvious. So Frank Yellop, who can certainly strike a ball with some power, hasn't scored many goals uh, for his club or country but uh, one mustn't rule him out of any dead ball situation there's Dominic Mobillo who plays in Vancouver Get away by Carter Ricardo again who comes to make the challenge he's seen more of the ball than anybody in the first uh, 20 minutes Alda here Leonardo and, uh, for the second touch and got there but, uh, illegally went in with Zeno and the uh, yeah, foul was uh, Dasovic just fell awkwardly I think as well See the replay, perhaps uh, 
Suno was a little unfortunate to be penalised. It was uh, more the impatience of Dasovic that uh, led to that uh, fall he took. Tumble. So it's call us here in Edmonton. time no chance of a flag and it's still down Romario White Craig Forrest looks at his defense but they'd split it comfortably and Romario was surely favorite when he got left in the one-on-one -on -one situation lovely ball through from Bebeto Romario with the goal wide open couldn't deliver the final pass, but Bebeto here showed wonderful touch. Romario timed his run, really beat the Canadians for pace and for class as well. And the first major opportunity goes the way of the 28-year-old from Spain who's going to be a big star in the World Cup Finals. He might get another chance here, but Frank Yallop got there first. And... Brazil beginning to pick up the tempo here. Romario scored 20 times for Brazil. And that was uh, his best opportunity so far to make it 21. His scoring record is phenomenal, really. 20 goals in 47 matches. Statistics are going to play a major part in uh, this World Cup, and uh, there was the Brazilian bench with the uh, statistician who's analysing the play-by-play -play moves of uh, each of the Brazilian players, and uh, sure to be uh, analysed at the training meeting later in the week. It's uh, I think going to be something that we must expect in the USA as Romario picks up the ball again and what a great through ball this is Bebeto it was the other way around this time Romario to Bebeto the ball through was delightful and the finish slightly indecisive which is most unlike Bebeto Zeno now Brazil beginning to really excel Leonardo goes into the penalty area and Canada win the free kick It's only half cleared by Brazil as the Mexican wave goes round the Commonwealth Stadium here in Edmonton. And Brazil in the last few minutes have picked up their game and uh, both Romario and Bebeto have had chances to open the scoring. Romario again. Oh, that's a lovely touch by Wright. Now they're beginning to take complete control in the midfield. The Canadians... A little bit rusty at the back as well. And uh, I'm sure there's one or two anxious faces on the Canadian bench as Bebeto makes an illegal challenge on Dasovic. I just wonder whether that decision not to take the penalty in that final league game in the Spanish season will be discussed with his striking partner, Romario. For sure, I don't think Bebeto will be putting his name on the list for a penalty kick if any of the Brazilian games do happen to go to the wire. Canada, who made a brightish start, have been very much playing second fiddle in the last ten minutes. And Romario and Bebeto have both had chances to open the scoring as Brazil step up the pace and the tempo of the match and Forrest comes out here and Junga was a little late with the challenge and quite rightly Antonio Murfa Mendoza just has a quiet word with him 
no more. It remains goalless. And what a marvellous way to play away out of a tricky situation. Again the pace. And this time Forrest makes the save. Romario is having a field day. Patriotic home crowd, but it was Romario's pace that uh, won him that. Jorginho's ball, but look how quick he is. And this time the snapshot, fine save from Forrest. Again, a quality pass through. Romario normally thrives on that. Just didn't quite catch it. Forrest did well. So although it's uh, still scoreless, uh, Brazil are beginning to open the play up. This is right. And uh, we played 25 minutes. Here's Bebeto. He's hit the post. A great chance. And Bebeto denied by the post after 26 minutes. But Brazil here are stepping up. Again, the quality of the delivery this time, the cross, was excellent. Bebeto looks certain to score, and his header hit the post. Jorginho, Bebeto, Forrest well beaten, the post saves Canada. Silky Brazilian magic is beginning to be shown here in this warm-up friendly in Edmonton by Brazil. One still doesn't know for sure how suspect they are at the back. Remember, they lost a qualifying match in La Paz in the qualifiers against uh, Bolivia. That was their first ever defeat in a qualifying section for a World Cup finals. And perhaps they still could be weak at the back, but there's no doubt at all they've got some exciting attacking players. And they're certainly one of the stronger teams who've made it through to the World Cup finals. They'll be going there, carrying the hopes of uh, the whole of Brazil and a great many of the neutrals. After a slow, sluggish start from both teams, Brazil have richly entertained the Canadian crowd with uh, some very attractive football in the last 10-15 uh, minutes. Mario's had uh, two good chances, and so has Bebeto. And the rest of the play certainly gone the way of... Uh, Brazil. Here's uh, Nainzino spreading it out to Ricardo. A little bit risky back to Taffarel and still I'm not 100% certain of the Brazilian defence but uh, when they attack like this and produce so much creativity in midfield as Romario got caught there but play on. This is right. Romario goes into the centre, and it's a corner given. Brazil's first, the second of the match. Well, they've got so many options here on corner kicks. It's Ian Fraser, who made his debut in the 1-1 draw against Morocco in midweek, in comes the corner, it's headed down and Forrest punches, it's not properly cleared, but it is now for a second corner and that was an important clearance they were off both benches there Rob Lenarduzzi making his uh, point there 
two on the goal line as the corner's floated in. Forrest punches only towards the edge of the penalty area. Well cleared by Fraser. Tafferell will have to come out inside his penalty area for this one. Alda here. Leonardo. And still Leonardo. He's got space and pace. And Leonardo! Well, that was an excellent move by Brazil. And in the end, Frank Yallop did well with the defending to give Brazil a third corner and deny Rai the opportunity of the opening goal. Again, they've got tremendous pace. This is Leonardo, and he'd got goal side of the defender, and Yallop came in when Rai would have surely scored had it reached him. Corner number four floated in, again punched by Forrest. Only 30 yards out. Brazil press forward once again. No chance of a flag here as the cross comes into the back post. And it drifts away as well. So the Canadians holding on here with a mixture of good fortune and excellent defending, but they are being caught square and are being outpaced. Brazil Here's Leonardo, who really showed a clean pair of heels to inject an excellent amount of pace into that run down the left-hand side, and he got uh, goal bound as well. Now, there are three in the centre here as they come forward again, and it's spectacularly cleared away this time by Randy Samuel. Corner number five for Brazil. He plays his football in Holland for Fortuna Sittard. Well, this was another fine cross from Jorginho. There were three in the middle, Mabetto and Donato. Mabetto and uh, Romario. So, corner number five, then, to be taken and swung in and off the line. Just... Great Forrest. Had to be careful. There wasn't that much margin for error there. Well... And it was an angled header. He had some help. So which is with the cross. And He'll have a free kick here and quickly take by Jorginho. He's already shown that he's going to be a major player in the finals with the quality of his crosses. I would expect uh, from American stats lovers, a is going to be a key factor in the World Cup. Well, Jorginho would have to be included in uh, anybody's team for those. Mark Watson then with a throw in for the Canadians. And is uh, Zeno. Dunga. And the free kick quickly taken. They do like to get on with it. Romario. So much elegance and style in the way Brazil play their football. Here's Romario again. And he just misunderstood there. It was only interpretation that uh, cost him. He was expecting to pass back or possibly the run forward. He certainly didn't get either. And this comes uh, Leonardo. Dean is Corazin, who's being taken care of by Ricardo. Right. Now 
over here. Romario, first touch. Not up to his usual high standards. Tries to gain a yard or five off uh, some defenders. 14 is uh, Ian Fraser. It's for the Colorado Foxes. Actually, Scottish born, born in uh, Jedburgh. The Canadians have a free kick that's been quickly taken, but will surely be have to. draw back we've uh, just under 10 minutes to half time Ricardo out of here Jorginho for the free kick but they're not going to get it Forest clears for Canada oh, there's Maria Silva this is Ricardo here's Romario now sets himself up still Romario might try shot he's gone wide well, once again, it's Romario. There may have been other options for him, but it's still nil-nil here in Edmonton. Ricardo. Out of here. Ooh, that's a pull. Pull forward. They get away with it. And uh, maybe against a more experienced side in the finals, they wouldn't get away with a defensive error like that. Jorginho involved at the heart. Here's Romario, and there's lots of space here for Leonardo to shoot wide. He's been a danger man on this left-hand flank for sure. And Romario's quality and delivery is so good, he seems to anticipate. Uh, judge that right. Leonardo went for the first-time shot when Bebeto was perfectly placed in the centre if he'd gone for the cross. Zeno, Leonardo, Alda here, gain a sloppy pass, and Lester George, please send to the media center on the main concourse for emergent message, that's Lester George. Leonardo, here's Romario, Dunga, and Romario looks for Bebeto, Forrest is down again. Fans, 
Mark Watson with the throw for Canada, who held out here in the first half. Haven't really created a chance. Started brightly enough. And, uh, and for the majority of the last half an hour, for sure, Brazil have had uh, far and away the best of the chances. Craig Forrest was well beaten by a Bibeto header that hit the post, and Romario has hit his best opportunity wide, but with five minutes to the break, I'm sure the Canadians will be very happy with the situation. That's their best opportunity in a way so far. It came to Colin Miller, who plays for St. Johnson in Scotland. Struck it OK, but straight at Tafferell. Four minutes to half-time in Edmonton's Commonwealth Stadium. And it's still goalless here. This is Romario. Still Romario. It's a fine run. And it's uh, broken down, but uh, this is Leonardo for Brazil. He's uh, on the outside for Beto. Oh! Beto once again with an opportunity, this time failing to find the target again. Well, Leonardo's been so dangerous down the left hand side, it looked odds on he was going to get the return, but Beto drifted inside to deceive the two Canadian defenders, and his shot was under a foot over the bar. is Mark Watson. Alba here. Leonardo, another injection of pace from him, this time not the best quality ball. This is Watson. And there down is uh, Mobilo. There's no flag. And once again, Randy Samuel comes to the rescue. It's uh, Jorginho, but here's the instance at the other end. Well, couldn't really tell from that. But uh, Mobilo's gone down, and he's uh, up OK. Now a chance, and this time a long-range shot that uh, causes Tafferell just a few problems. Dasovic uh, with it, and again, uh, Randy Samuel with the clearance at the other end. It's a free kick to Canada. Ten yards, well, make that five yards. That's uh, Carlo Corazin is the player who's uh, needed some attention. There'll be no treatment given to players on the field in the World Cup finals. That's going to be something that's uh, going to be monitored very closely by the officials. 
As the Canadians go in search of uh, an opening here, but Ricardo came across. And it's a throw to Brazil. reached time at the end of the first half without a goal but it's not been a match without interest and uh, Brazil have certainly struck the ball around uh, in impressive fashion they just uh, not found the target here's Romario still Romario it's a great run it's Romario who's opened the scoring with a touch of brilliance in stoppage time, it's his 21st goal for his country, and it was only a matter of time, surely, before he put the finishing touches on some of the moves that have been quite simply magical. Canada nil, Brazil won after 45 minutes. Well, great play here from Romario. There wasn't so much on. He weaved his way through. He continued going, he had support from Rye, but he kept on going, and Forrest may have got a hand to it. But quite simply, it was only going in one direction, and that was the back of the net. A Romario special opens the scoring here, and that quite nicely sums up the first 45 minutes. Well, the half-time whistle has gone. It was the last... Antonio Morfo Mendoza from Mexico checks with the linesman. We're both Canadian. This Commonwealth Stadium. Not quite full, but uh, a healthy crowd of over 50,000. And they saw a wonderful goal by... Romario just before half time, the last kick of the first half, and that separates the two sides. So, looks like the changes are being kept as we're about to get underway at the start of the second half. Bebeto and Romario get us underway then for Brazil playing from left to right and hoping to produce more of the same in the second 45 minutes. They showed off some of their creative football at its best in patches in that first 45 minutes and deserved to leave at half-time. The Canadians didn't really show too much, but were holding out until just before the break. Here's Leonardo. Canada will be looking to try and strike back to pump up the crowd. Now this is Carter. It's uh, beaten to it by Alda here. Ten is Rye. And that was uh, Randy Samuel at the back for the Canadians. There's one of the substitutions who they have brought on, Lyndon Hooper, into midfield. This is Colin Miller. Fourteen is Ian Fraser, only his second start. There is uh, Mahinho who has now come on. Mazinho who plays for Palamiras. coming forward here once again the move's broken down or has it good tackle 
Ricardo again, absolutely solid. He's been at the back. And that was another very important uh, piece of defensive play from him. This is Yallop to Lyndon Hooper. Born in uh, Georgetown, Guyana. Winning his 40-second cap here. Jorginho to Romario. Marzinho wins his 50th cap for Brazil in this second half. And it looks like uh, he's come on to replace uh, the captain Dunga. Indians oh. coming forward again. This is Fraser. Hooper. Fraser again. And the flag went up. Leonardo. Ricardo. This is Alda here. And it was uh, so close to falling to Babetto. This is Jorginho. Now there's more space. It's uh, Romario again. He wants to go alone yet again. And this time it didn't break for him. Jorginho. So many options open to Brazil. Romario, that's a good ball forward. And the flag went up for offside.
and gentlemen, boys and girls, please check your Edmonton Journal Canada flag cards. If your journal flag card number is 9327, Brazil leading Canada by a goal to nil. Rosinho has come on for Maria Silva. As the Canadians and here they come forward again. Now there's only three in the centre, two back for Canada, and it's drifted wide once again. Zeno in so much space, and there were other options this time. Well, Zeno is also on a championship medal this season, Palmeiras winning the Brazilian championship, and, well, with two colleagues in the centre, Bebeto and Leonardo, both who would surely have scored if the cross had been just that little bit more accurate. There's Ricardo. And here's the Substitute for Canada, Lyndon Hooper. Leonardo brings in Zeno. Here's Dunga. Still Leonardo. Another fine run. Oh, that's a good save. Craig Forrest did well there. It was a fine strike. And it's the first corner of the second half. Well, he made himself room, and Forrest pushes it behind and uh, does again. Taking no chances this time. Corner number seven for Brazil to be taken by number seven, Bebeto. Surely he'd be better on the end of these corners, but uh, 10 minutes gone, Bebeto flicks it in, it's not cleared, and it's Romario over. Forrest made the first save, but Romario just couldn't finish it off. The best chance, the clearest opening in the second half. Romario, who's already scored this afternoon, well, Bebeto's corner, a bit more injection of pace. It was a fine save from Forrest. Ricardo got in the way, and in came Romario, and he toe-poked it over. <laughs> Leonardo. Alba here. This is Jorginho. Throw into Brazil. Came off the Canadian Hooper. Free kick again to Brazil. Pace quickens up. Tempo. It's again increases and uh, Tafarel. A long search and clearance, flag got up for offside. I think there's also going to be another change. This is uh, Jeff Unga, and he's going to come off for Carlos uh, Corazine. So, in fact, they make a change. John Cactuff is also coming on. Wearing nine. And Carlos Corazin goes off. Well, originally I thought it said 20, but it's John Catcliffe who's on. I sort of saw the uh, 20 number being uh, produced, but uh, it's Catcliffe who's uh, 
come on. Plays for the Vancouver 86ers. And is a, a striker. So uh, it's a striker on for a midfield man. After 12 minutes in the second half. Brazil coming forward once again. There's two in the centre. Here's Bebeto. Still Bebeto. Must score and hits it wide. Frustration for Bebeto. He's had a few chances in this match. None more so than this. He'd done all the hard work. Left himself an open goal. Forrest got a touch. It's another corner. Swung in and headed to Forrest, who palmed it away. Great play from the Ipswich Town keeper. Another corner being given. Well, that's twice he's kept them in the match. Well, this was a fine save. Another corner. And Brazil queuing up. Beto floats this in. Forrest with a very decisive punch this time. And that could turn out to be counter attack for Canada. Here's that chance uh, just a few moments ago. You can see just how well Forrest did there to get his hand to it. It was straight from the corner. Jorginho plays it in. Romario beaten to it by uh, Randy Samuel. But Brazil here come forward again. Leonardo wanting the return and getting it. Still Leonardo. Now he's got pace. He's inside the penalty area. It's still Leonardo. And... Uh, it's a Brazil throw. Well, now, sure to come on. Well, Jeff Bonja, who plays for Luton. Also, a striker. And he's coming on, and it's uh, Ian Carter who's coming off. Played an hour. Brazil leading thanks to Romario's goal right on half time. Jet uh, touch for Jeff Ranger. This is uh, Mobilo. Brazil need to just settle themselves down a bit after another offside. That's Romario from Dunga's ball through. Well, Romario's strike separates the two sides. We're having uh, another change here. Mobilo coming off. And this is uh, Eddie Badusko. He plays in Switzerland. He's another striker. And they swapping about the Canadians, but you can understand they've got four games in a week. And they won't want to be. Uh, Exerting too many of their players. They play Germany, Spain, and Holland, so they'll be using this squad of 23. Four games in an eight day period. So they 
might as well utilize the squad that they have. have made the changes. I wonder whether it's going to change the way that they play or the way that Brazil might let them play. At the moment, they're a goal behind and haven't really created so much in attack. Roger, well, it's a hopeful ball that ends up by being quite effective. Two go in the centre. Up. Go to Brazil. This game is available to over 110 million people throughout the world. You'll be able to see all your smiling faces tonight on TSN at 7 o'clock. The game will be taped delayed. World Cup USA 94 is on traction on TSN. Here's Alba here. Who Finds Jorginho, two in the centre, the cross is overhit. And in golfing terms, uh, massively overclubbed. Mark Watson, not uh, the best ball forward. This is Hooper for Canada. He'll leave it, and uh, more action down on the benches. And this time it's uh, a Brazilian substitution, and it looks like uh, a double one as well. 24 Brazil is Paulo Sergio, and it looks like Rise going off. Well, Paulo Sergio is on for sure. And it did look like Rai had uh, walked away. Paulo Sergio plays in uh, Europe as well with Bayer Leverkusen. Looks like uh, they've also brought on Cafu. And Cafu, number 13, now in for Alda here. He's come on for Alda here, so it was a double substitution. Cafu, a defender who plays for Sao Paulo. And his contribution. will be eagerly watched as places up for grabs in the Brazilian defence. So that's three substitutions they've used. Marzinho, Cafu and Paulo Sergio. We've lost out to here. Mara Silva and Rai. So there have been plenty of changes. That last one, though, was a straight swap. Defence from Abbey, Jorginho, Cafu, Ricardo Rocha, Ricardo Gomez, and Leonardo, who's playing much deeper. Here he is. Trying to be a bit more aggressive. There's the cross. Romario gets up. It's uh, easy for Craig Forrest. Now Randy Samuels giving uh, Romario a watching brief especially for the set pieces and any likely crosses. Romario, only five foot six. So, uh, able to uh, give most people a few inches in height terms. And uh, it's amazing how powerful he is in the air when you consider that. There are so many of you in the stands that are taking this long to count the crowd. Give yourself a big round of applause.
Here's Cafu. Making an immediate impact. Still Cafu. It's a great run. He certainly looked for the penalty. And the Mexican referee, Antonio Marufu Mendoza, certainly not influenced by that. here 13 is Cafu here producing uh, an ideal test ready for Brazil uh, giving them a nice warm up not really worrying them so much there's Alda here whose uh, defensive colleague is Ricardo Gomez there's his football in uh, Paris Saint-Germain the French title this year, of course. And no flag this time, and a great chance for the Canadians to equalise, and they do! It's a great moment for Eddie Bernasco. He scored against Brazil, and he's grabbed an equaliser here. Which has made the Canadian supporters very happy indeed. Badusco put in the clear. And he smashed it home. 1-1. Well, Badusco in the clear. It's only his seventh appearance, but it's his third goal. And the Canadians draw level. And now we've got an exciting final quarter. Plays his football in Switzerland. And will that inject some excitement into Brazil? <laughs> Well, that was uh, an opportunity straight away for Zinho. Canada, who came from behind to draw 1-1 with Morocco in Montreal, have come from behind here again. Cafu. I wonder whether Brazil can respond to the Canadians equalising. That no, is. Uh, Zeno. Alda here. And Bebeto on the chase. It's, uh, Forrest came out and got that.
as the uh, wave goes around the Commonwealth Stadium here in Edmonton. This is Watson. Well, they broke down and uh, Brazil given an opportunity to counter. Cafu. And the flag goes up. Against uh, Paolo Sergio. One would imagine that the Canadians and uh, Bob, Bob Lanaduzzi will be very happy with the way things have gone. As Rudy Dolisga. Well, he scored on his debut against Morocco last week. He's basically a defender. And he plays his football in Montreal. Actually brought in Haiti as we have the first yellow card of the afternoon. And the player booked is uh, Marzinho. The referee in no doubt. Marzinho. with the challenge. Now let's see if we can uh, spot it again. He really left his leg. So free kick taken by Ulja. And you can hear the uh, atmosphere in the stadium has completely changed since the equaliser from Eddie Rodesco. Still no longer dominating proceedings as they... threatened to do so, having scored just before the break. I really thought that uh, the second half might be... Uh, one-way traffic and that uh, the Canadians would uh, do well to restrict the scoreline to two or three but in fairness to the home side they've uh, given the home fans something to uh, really be proud of in this second 45 minutes and they've gone at Brazil and they've won a second corner here well it be some scalp for them if they could uh, go on and win the match. But, uh, they don't have to defend here. A corner for only the second time. It's swung into the near post and they've now got a third corner. Uh, Rudy Dolis got to grab that uh, last gasp equaliser against Morocco there were any three and a half thousand who were in uh, Montreal for that one uh, there's a crowd of over 50,000 here tonight in comes the corner taken by Onja a floated past Tafarel and kept in by the flag in comes the cross from uh, Olisat he wins the throw so a little bit of luck there for the Canadians Tafarel Looking a little uncertain. This is Miller. And it's a deep throw. Ricardo there did well. Ricardo Gomez. So now from the set piece, can the Canadians? Find something that would give them the lead. Tafarel goes to the back post, it's headed down. And Tafarel made that look far easier than 
Perhaps it was. He bowls it away, and here's Cafu. Here's Brazil come on the counter. 1 1 in Edmonton. Leonardo. Two in the centre for Beto and Romario. Zeno. Back to Leonardo. And Zeno again. Leonardo wants the return and will probably get it. He ducks out the way of it. The shot comes in. It's over. On the drive. Well, there's the official attendance. Over 50,000. 51,000. 937 and uh, a very healthy crowd and it's been a pleasant day in Edmonton ideal for football well, Brazil are a big draw worldwide and for a team who failed to qualify for the World Cup finals like Canada to attract over 50,000 for a friendly just once again shows the worldwide draw that the Brazilians that attract here. Be interesting to compare that attendance with the one against the three Europeans in the other matches to come in Montreal and Toronto. We'll have those for you later in the week on Eurosport. to go and the Canadians are still offering a threat and at 1-1 this match is not yet decided or finished the Canadians look hungry here to go on and win the game and this time it's a goal kick another chance and Catliffe giving these Canadians who've uh, basking in the afternoon sunshine something to shout about. That was the cross, and he jumped up and headed it wide. Are we going to get a late winner here in this uh, friendly in Edmonton, or are the honours going to be even? Brazil. favourites to win the World Cup but they've got to not be so sloppy in defence if they are going to justify favouritism they've got a very attractive side make no mistake about it here's Leonardo he's still battling and I think he's won a free kick for sure challenger Rough one from Doisat. Here's Ricardo. Thirteen is Cafu. up by Romario looking for Leonardo but in the end also storming in was uh, Golisak it's been a useful exercise for Brazil for sure this they've uh, played some elegant football in parts for Beto teeing himself up Romario and he's again showed moments of brilliance Leonardo, who's shown that uh, he's going to be a threat on one of the flanks, with Jorginho on the other. Ricardo. Over here, and again, this is Cafu. Patient Brazilian play, Cafu again, that was sweetly done. It's still in. Quality cross required. 
And Sergio did just that. No flag. And another corner. Good defensive play. Adonis had only made his debut in midweek. But he's uh, already made his presence felt here in just ten minutes. It's Pipetto to float in the corner. And the uh, ball drifts out of play again. Right here, who was the late addition to Carlos Alberto Pereira's squad. And the Brazilian manager who's been connected with the Brazilian national team since 1970 when he was first on the junior coach. And now he's uh, going to the World Cup finals. It's the third time for a manager. Kuwait in 1982. United Arab Emirates in 1990. But this time he goes into a World Cup finals as a coach masterminding the favourite. So the scenario is so much different. The expectations are so much greater. As uh, the flag stays down and what is a cross or Paolo Sergio clearly not impressing. As our sound effects microphone picked up some of the coaching staff. Canada won Brazil one then in the friendly in Edmonton with five minutes left. Brazil who start their World Cup campaign against Russia on the 20th of June in San Francisco. It's a repeat of their opening game of the 1982 World Cup finals. And they took on Russia. In Spain. Well, it's a yellow card, the first for a Canadian. Second of the match. And the Mexican referee making his intentions very clear right towards the end. And Hooper. He's back. Colin Miller gets the yellow card. And Canada have the goal kick. So the Canadians here who were behind at half time have hit back. And let's have a look at uh, why Miller picked up his yellow card. It was a clumsy challenge. Marzinho. So Forrest then with the clearance. Leonardo spreading the play. Romario, and his second touch there let him down. He weaved his way through the Canadian defence just before the half-time break. Got the feeling he was going to try and do the same there. It just didn't work for him. Now, great challenge. And again, it was uh, Dolly Sad, who's made a big impression here. He's only been on the field a matter of 15 minutes. Uh, handball. Romario. Such a key clog in the uh, Brazil wheel, particularly up front. Canadians got something to offer in the closing minutes. 
Or are we going to see the opening match of... This week's coverage and in a draw. Well, the Brazilians, and I'm sure, look to try and produce a winner at any stage. They play a naturally attacking game. It's a corner. The Canadians fifth. And there's the cheers from the crowd for Jeff Hunga, Luton Town player. They sense there might be a bit of late drama here. Not one to go now. It was uh, time yet for Canada. And I think uh, Canada here knew too much about that. So still Canada have a chance to put a little bit more pressure on. That was a quickly taken throw in, and it's so nearly paid off for them. And this time, quite rightly, Catcliffe penalised. Brazil very quick to get on with things. Leonardo. Well, that's great to see that there's no possible chance of this team sitting back. Leonardo again, he's got the pace. And he's still going. Romario making the run. And uh, the back pass puts Forrest under a bit of pressure. Brazil have a throw. 25 yards from the Canadian goal. Slight hold up in play. Cafu wants to get on with it. We're going to have another substitution. Marcio Sanatos and coming out is Cafu who's already been one of the substitutes so uh, it is in fact uh, Alda here who's gone off Cafu remains on Marcio Santos plays midfield another one of the Deportivo La Coruña clan as uh, Forrest gathers safely. And Canada can see the goal right at the end of the first 45 minutes. Their supporters will be anxious that they don't uh, concede another one right at the end of this match. I'm sure that uh, for many Canadians, they regard this as a fine result to hold the World Cup favourites, Brazil. And that's what they've done. Greeted like a victory. It's been an excellent warm-up, this, for Brazil in the end. The only disappointing thing for them is the result for Canada, who also face Spain, Germany and Holland this week. It's a second successive 1-1 draw.